You're still watching In The Loop on Bloomberg TV Philippines. Now our other top story, Kim Wong has surrendered more than $5 million of Bangladesh stolen money in the past two weeks and another $10 million is due within the next month. But turning over the cash to Bangladesh isn't as easy as it looks. Bev Natividad sat down with Ambassador John Gomez and he says they're willing to go through the legal process to get their money back. We agree that uh, it has to go through a process as laid down in your constitution. And I have discussed this with the Secretary of Department of Justice. But he told me that uh, since this money was already signed by us, uh, he would do his best to expedite the process so that uh, this money can be transferred as quickly as possible. So that gives me uh, uh, a hope that uh, it's not going to take so much of time. But I don't know exactly uh, what are the time frame, but uh, it should not be uh, more than, say, two, two to three weeks. Last time at the Senate, you talked about the possibility of Philrem returning part of the money, but Philrem subsequently denied it during the hearing. Has Philrem gotten in touch with you? Uh, I'm getting some information that they are, uh, they are uh, trying to reach us uh, in order to give some of that money. Uh, but, uh, but I can tell you this much that uh, I'm keeping the Senate Blue Ribbon also uh, keeping them informed uh, about uh, who's talking to me and uh, what, uh, what they are offering. Uh, it's only uh, uh, going to crystallize once we get it. Your government has also conducted some investigations. What have you found so far with regard to the hacking? The hacking, uh, I cannot uh, disclose at this point the, the findings, but I have learned that it is, it is not a Bangladeshi who hacked. It is not a Filipino who hacked. So we have hired uh, expert uh, IT firms, New York-based IT firms, who, are, who have gone into our system. And they are trying to find out why, why and who, how this was, uh, 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 this was you know, overcome by, 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 uh, by these hackers, that how they got into our systems. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there are no uh, concrete uh, findings yet. So there has been no arrest made in Bangladesh. And uh, so, but, but one thing is for sure that Bangladesh has gone, they have, they have taken this very seriously. All our agencies are working together. Do you at least assign some responsibility to RCBC in considering that Pan Asia was able to recover um, stop payment in the, of the money in Sri Lanka and RCBC wasn't able to do the same. If you compare uh, Sri Lanka and uh, if you compare Pan Asia Bank and RCBC, it appears like that, right? That they could uh, stop the payment, they could, uh, they found out there was a mistake. So, uh, but here the RCBC receives the money and then eventually it disappears. From that point of view, I have I've mentioned earlier also, I have no uh, doubt, I have no doubt, absolutely no doubt that uh, the senators, uh, you know, they are doing their best. Uh, they are not a court, right? They are not a court. So they are trying to find out uh, exactly what happened. And uh, they're spending a lot of time, so many hearings, uh, hours together uh, to find out who are actually responsible. Have you talked to RCBC or Lorenzo Tan, perhaps? I mean, he said in the Senate that if found guilty, he's willing to talk to the board for the return of part of the money. I have not talked to him yet. Uh, we will endeavor to, to talk to RCBC. Actually, I am, I am reaching my, my hands to everyone. Uh, that's why you are hearing all kinds of stories that Ambassador is going to Soler, to Phil Ram. And my point is that we need to finish off this uh, as quickly as possible, right? Uh, uh, so that this $81 million can be sent back to Bangladesh. And when we, we continue into our own day-to-day -day affairs, the Philippines has to move ahead. They can't be bogged down for so long on, on, on this, uh, this uh, money laundering issue. And it's, it's bad for the image also for the country.